Hello listeners, just a quick note before we get into the actual episode, but for reasons that we will get into in the episode and just general technical noobery, we had actually recorded this twice, but upon listening back to the recordings, we realized that some of our initial conversation could be somewhat salvaged, so we've included that in here as well. You'll notice it because of the sudden change in audio quality, and also because there's a really obnoxious rewind sound before and after the segment. Anyway, on to the episode! Here we are. Here we are. Hello and welcome to the first actual episode of the Point No Points podcast. How are you feeling? It's quite interesting. I think. I mean, it feels also real now. <laughs> it feels also real because we are not going to lie to the listeners that this is our second round recording this episode because <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. We we are actually testing things out, and like the amateurs we are, we are just going at it however we think works best. The fact that we are recording this a second time, I think, is <laughs> very um apropos for today's topic because it just kind of illustrates why we had so much unfinished business. That is right. This is, after all, a topic on unfinished business, and we are going to be talking about uh, a lot of other projects that we have left unfinished in our lives, on top of this existing episode, actually. So, if anybody is actually um, listening on the YouTube channel, and you have a look at the YouTube channel and when that channel existed, you will notice that... um, We've had this channel for a very long time now, and this really has been, like, number one on our unfinished business list. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's one of those things that we've never really put forward as a whole group. Yeah, that's true. I mean, mm. honestly, I've actually completely forgotten the point of why we even started that YouTube channel the, the the first, first initial point, because I know at one point, when we did actually go off to uni, I did kind of want to like use that as a joint vlog channel, although we never actually did the thing. I just looked at the videos that were up on that channel just now, and I just saw the private video that you posted <laughs> about the snow thing, and I had completely forgotten about that. <laughs> I don't even remember posting something like that. No, I mean, you posted it um privately, so which is why it was... And I don't there. remember such a thing. I forgot. I need to wa- look at... I need to watch that video now. I don't actually remember posting anything. Okay, which well... Which is kind of... Yeah, okay, interesting. Wow. You have access to the channel. You can go and have a look at it. <laughs> I will. I think I will. I mean, I, th- I feel that... The, the 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 main reason why we actually started this whole channel uh, mm-hmm. before we headed off to uni was actually to it kind of have this whole thing right where it's a whole boy band esque vibe of sorts that we can turn into some kind of documentary at least that's ah, yes. what I remember ah yes the time that I got Mainly you, actually, um, (laughs) hooked on Big Time Rush with me. (laughs) I have zero regrets. (laughs) I mean, I have zero regrets too. I mean, I really like Big Time Rush, even now. Like, it's a very nostalgic name. I miss the show so much. I know. I want an adult edition. I want grown-up Big Time Rush. Yes. Okay, okay. We, we, are, we are, as usual, straying from topic at hand because we keep getting distracted by like, <laughs> all of the things. Okay, I will back, admit, on point. back on point. Yes, back on point. And I will admit to the listeners as well that part of the reason why we are re-recording this is because we realized in the first recording we had a horrible habit of talking over each other and now it is actually like a bit strenuous to try and keep myself from just interjecting I, I it know. is I, I think that I still 
end up cutting you off or, or you know like sometimes I feel like we, we're just too excited and then we just start talking over each other because there's so much to say that's true okay so point. um please yeah. please bear with us while we deal with our slight insanity but you know there's that back to our I guess joint unfinished business so firstly was the initial purpose of the youtube channel and then we had our second grand plan that never came to fruition which was yeah. and actually i don't remember did we want to film this did we want to stage this did we want to make an adaptation of this i don't actually remember but we wanted to do something with Tom Stoppard's play, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. That is right. At one point, I wanted to make a, what's, a comic adaptation of uh, the play. Oh, I still do. Okay. I still do. But I have shifted my gears a little bit. I've been wanting to do, I've been wanting to do a whole um, Hamlet adaptation through Ophelia's eyes but of course that requires a lot of homework and oh boy. I have not thought much about it beyond just thinking how cool would it be to see everything through the eyes of Ophelia okay but I mean considering we know the story of Hamlet through obviously his eyes and Ophelia is not actually always present there how much of it could there be or would you just be, you know, filling in the blanks, as it were? I would think it's a lot of filling in the blanks. And also looking into how she responds to him. Because she did have some part with him where they are, I'm assuming, lovers. Mm -hmm. And the parts where she eventually refused him. So I guess it's a lot of her observing what's happening and just kind of seeing that whole descent into madness hmm. okay on her part so it would probably end at the point where she just dies in the river i think it kind of has to yeah it has to i mean there's no choice so <laughs> i don't know I, I don't know how that will go on further from there yeah i mean it would be very it's i, I would think that's very tragic la. i i love ophelia my favorite character in Hamlet always. And I feel that there's a lot of strength that she has that she may not necessarily know what to do with. And so she gets pushed around so often. I, although I don't think this is part of the whole thing about unfinished business. Unless you want I to mean, say that Ophelia has unfinished business with Hamlet. I mean, definitely. <laughs> of course she does. He literally drove her to madness. <laughs> What are things that you have planned out that you always wanted to do besides the podcast and okay. you have not touched it? At all? Mm -mm. Um, okay, if we're talking about like not touched it at all, I don't think I have any. Okay. Yeah, because I was thinking about this the other day. A lot of my unfinished, unfinished business have been started in some sense and just never re-picked up. <laughs> it's never reached the end line. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not never re-picked up, but yeah, I mean, of course, on the one hand, on like the literal unfinished business, I have at least seven cross-stage cross projects that are works in progress. Mm -hmm. You know, that are just being picked up and put down randomly, depending on what's going on. The, I think the most did of my unfinished projects that have been started was that I technically had a second YouTube channel that I intended to like use as a vlog channel which I, okay. I think I wanted to start when we went to uni and I have like one video on there and <laughs> nothing else and I don't even remember what's the email that I use for that account but I still oh, no. do technically have the video file that is up there <laughs> right okay so now i don't know what to do with that like i'm not even sure how i can get rid of that thing because i don't know what the email is i wonder if you can actually make an make a complaint you know it's like hey guys i 
lost the email to this account. I need you to help me out here, please. I mean, I suppose, I suppose that's a thing that can be done. Like, part of me is like, okay, should I just get rid of it? Do I want to actually keep doing that? But nah, I can't be bothered anymore. I think everything's just moved to the main account anyway. That just has all sorts of nonsense. Wow. So, yes, have you gotten anything that, that you have technically started, but it has since died? No. No, I've not. I actually have a lot of things I want to start, but I think about it a lot more than I actually get started on, on mm-hmm. them. So after, so after 2019, after I wrote, uh, what will I do without you? Eh? What do I do with you, Auntie Flo, and whatnot, know. such as such, mm-hmm. right? I stopped writing. I just started, I, I got a job. I started working and I just stopped uh, writing or drawing for that matter. I have, all these ideas in my head and I just don't start. I just imagine the whole thing, which I feel like it's a very, I mean, it is a bad habit, but I feel like it also, I need to have that whole threat of shame. I need to tell a few different people that I am going to do something and then I will do it. <laughs> if I don't tell someone, then I most likely won't do it. Just because it's like, you know, it's just with me. What are, what, there are no stakes. What are the stakes? None. Do you feel like you only managed to, you know, write that play because you told people about it? Yes, I think so. And also because I, sub- I, I submitted an application. So I felt like, because I quit my job yeah. and I had a whole year off. In my mind, I'm thinking, I'm going to prove to people that I did something worthwhile while I was out of work. Mm-hmm. And I think that was like a lot of motivation just to <laughs> get it across the line because it was fun. It was something I've always wanted to do. It's just that I never got around to doing it. And now that somehow life has kind of settled back in, I'm now focused on doing other things instead of these uh, creative uh, works. Because I feel like sometimes you don't feel like doing it because you kind of either lost interest, you outgrown it, mm-hmm. or you just don't feel like it. And because the stakes are also so low, there's no immediate rush to it. I suppose, yeah, that's true. Yeah. True. Which I think it's quite great anyway, you know, like when you say that you started a few cross-stitch projects and you just kind of pick them up here and there. At least I think the, the whole point is that you at least started and you're slowly going through it rather than just leaving it for the end of days, never see, to see daylight. I have been thinking about writing a new play already this year because uh, the, the, like theatres are now opening up and everything, right? Mm-hmm. So I, fe- I have a feeling that Short and Sweet will be open again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I really want to submit another play into it just to kind of, for once, not be the actor and be a writer. Just sit there, watch my show, come back <laughs> so home and be writer. all fun. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time be you just the hope- writer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I want to be just the writer this time. Either that, or I might want to do uh, another art compilation just to kind of get back into drawing again. Yes, we'll see. I support. We'll I support. See. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I I have not drawn a lot since twenty twenty. Uh, I've not drawn properly since twenty twenty, and I have not drawn much since. 2016 which is quite a long time i think but it's all cool i think that the whole point is that we started something we did one thing Mm -hmm. and if we ended it on one episode it's still okay we finished one episode so that's still kind of finished business i would think oh my gosh that would be so sad though (laughs) we okay so listeners we have technically had the idea of making a podcast for like 10 years now. The initial idea started way back in approximately 2012 slash 2013 when a certain YouTube web series called The Lizzie Bennett Diaries were just being released or I guess was still being produced. I don't really know which terminology to use for that. And at some point, we had wanted to create a recap discussion podcast thing for it. And 
that really went like nowhere. We didn't really plan anything. I think like, did we plan anything? No, I would say we didn't. Uh, yeah. One, because we were just quite busy with school and I feel that we <laughs> we were more invested in the series than actually reacting to it. I mean, we could always have done, uh, you know, one of those critique sorts of podcasts, right? Where you go mm-hmm. by each scene in yeah. the show. But I think like it required so much of brain space and we were not at a point where we could actually coordinate a lot yeah. of things. And yeah. I think that also set us back. Oh, but you know, I feel that the Lizzie Benedictis is really just so pivotal in the whole sense of, wow, this is what, um, you know, Austin could be like in the future. Mm. In the whole sense of like, you know, blogs, mixed media, was that what they call it? Yeah, yeah, um, I think it was, it was... Um, no, wait, no, there was another term, not just mixed media, it was like trans something media or something, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, it was some, it was a really fancy word that I don't remember anymore. Yeah. Go me, <laughs> the person who actually studied media, not yeah. remembering <laughs> what the thing was. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, and it really made me think about one other unfinished project that I don't think I will ever start because it's a lot of energy. But I'm just trying to think of how you can adapt Persuasion into that same account. I need to try and remember if I've actually read Persuasion. And I think the answer might be no. It's okay, (laughs) but it's my favourite Austin book. So, hint, hint, I think you need to read it when you can. I mean, (laughs) I think I need to actually, you know, read books again instead of just reading fan fiction. (laughs) Mm. I actually read persuasion maybe twice Mm -hmm. and the rest of my rereads were actually audiobooks Uh listening Eh, still counts it's fine so I spend a lot of time listening to persuasion and (laughs) I keep thinking to myself how am I supposed to create this whole series where Mm -hmm. the main character Anne doesn't actually appear in the series until much later because she is shy she is mostly at the beck and call of her aunt and therefore it takes a while for her to kind of come to herself and find her voice but you know that's a whole that's a whole separate discussion i feel at this point anonymous tumblr blog <laughs> maybe we will see we will see yeah but yeah that probably perhaps, is a perhaps. heck of a lot of work yeah just finding a lot of actors and everything, unless you're going to do this whole one-man show of sorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think this is why, you know, we had wanted to do RNG I did. It's literally a two-man show. <laughs> mostly a two-man show. Mostly, mostly. Unless you do pop sock puppets. I was just thinking earlier, mm. actually, of um, yeah. a... Or more like I just remembered earlier of a project. Is it, was it really a project? I don't know. Of a thing that I had started in school so like school school in like form three this was I think like at the height of everybody having blogs and everybody was like linking to everybody's you know like their blog spot blogs and um I think I had wanted and I technically did start it I just don't remember what the url was um like a shared blog it was a food blog Right. Yeah, with like a few of my friends. And I don't remember if we ever actually had posted anything. I just remember that we had the URL, like we had technically created the blog. We each had like a specific (laughs) food group. All I remember apart from that is that the um the like tagline or whatever you want to call that, I guess the blog title was Eat to Live to Eat. Because you know, wow. people have people have the the question, okay, do you eat to live or do you eat or do you live to eat? I'm like, why can't it be both? You eat to mm, live mm, to mm. eat. That's true. That is right. Yeah. So that I feel like is probably my oldest unfinished, undone, unwhatever project. How many more unfinished projects do we have? I think more than we can count at some point, I would say. I would think it's more than we can count. I mean, even just the ones that I can count are already bad enough. Like, the number of cross-stitch projects that I've started and not finished is 
slightly insane. And I just want to keep starting more. So this is not a good thing. I would think you can, if we just pick that things one at a time, Mm -hmm. just like I have not picked up any of my existing projects up yet. But, um, well, at least I have the thought that I will get around to actually putting together another book of drawings, hopefully, mm-hmm. by this year. And we'll see how that pans out. So, little steps, I would think. No matter how unfinished our business may be, I mm-hmm. feel that if we can just slowly chip away at things, it would. Yeah. It should work out. We hope. I mean, that is essentially how I'm, like, approaching all of my cross-stage projects. I have, like, okay, I should finish this much within this month. And then if I have some more time within the month, I'm going to work on a different one for a bit. Mm. Because, to be fair, I've already spent longer than I I was theoretically supposed to spend on the stitch-along that I'm working on. Because it's supposed to be a year-long thing, which... When did I buy this? I think I bought this... Eh, wait. Did I buy this last year? No, 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 I did not buy this last year. I bought this two years ago. And it was supposed to be a year-long project, which, you know, has obviously gone further than that because Mm. life just gets in the way. That it does. Yeah, and I guess one thing that we can hope from this podcast would, I mean, in the, the whole experience anyway, would be that we somehow come to terms with you know some projects may not see the end of time sometimes and perhaps for most we will get there i mean i can i really hope that we can actually do that big one that i keep wanting Mm. to do okay because that would be very cool i think that would be very fun yes it would be fun but it would also be a lot of work (laughs) it's okay we'll get there okay we'll get there we'll get there yeah, we'll get there. I think uh, we're off to a good start. And I've technically <laughs> sort of forced you to start drawing again. You know, I have not actually started. I have not drawn for two years. I yeah. I, I turned on clip and mm-hmm. I forgot how to use it. I realized, whoa, what are the shortcuts? I don't remember how to use this. And so the whole time I was do- I was creating the thumbnails, I'm just thinking, Wow, I'm re-educating myself. Good. <laughs> Good. Time to relearn what you forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually start using the things that I have. Good. You didn't draw for two years, so I force you to draw by making you draw the thumbnails for the episodes. <laughs> it was fun. But I'm trying to, I mean, I'm making it very low effort so that I don't feel like I have to make it look very nice or anything true we make no money from this that is true this is all for the sole pleasure of having something done yes although money would be a bonus i'm not gonna say no to that (laughs) (laughs) of course yeah do you have any hopes and dreams for this podcast for this podcast okay um Well, I can hope that we actually can manage to do this for more than just like five episodes, first of all. And that's like the super short-term goal or hope. Mm. Further than that, I mean, actually getting sponsorships would be nice. (laughs) (laughs) How likely is that? I don't know. That's a bit too soon to say. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, that's extremely soon to say. But, you know, we can hope. I have no idea yeah. what kind of sponsorships we might even get. We'll see. Yes. Who knows? I mean, I know I can I can tell you um a sponsorship that um I can definitely hope for. And this is regarding um one of the unfinished business plan thingy thingies uh, that I've been wanting to do that I think um we had initially said that we could talk about in a separate episode because it was a lot of things. Oh, or yes, more like yes, it, yes. it's kind of a big project and yes i i do right, have right. somebody or somebody company or whatever uh, that i can wish would sponsor me us to do this thing all right we'll we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed uh let's see how this pans out yeah 
which you know we can potentially talk about this in another episode because I feel like that is a lot of that would probably be a lot of me just talking about this thing. <laughs> I don't know what what hopes do you have for this? I'm just quite excited to see if we finish this. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that's the yeah. main one. We have we have so many like topic ideas, plans, but again, will this fall into the category of unfinished business? Like my multiple multiple YouTube videos that just get forever put on the back burner. Like my British Isle series of what was supposed to be four videos from a trip that happened four years ago now, of which only <laughs> two of them are actually done and uploaded, and the other two are just languishing in iMovie and have been there for the past well four years. I like to think of it as because this is going to be a partnership. Yeah. Um. There will be accountability, so I have a feeling that we will finish this. Okay. Uh, by hook or by crook, at a slow yes. time. True. I can mm. only hope that our current enthusiasm will carry us through this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I think like what helps is probably milestones, which we can talk about at another time. So yeah. I'm, okay. I yes. True. Maybe we can go for that. Yeah. The milestones. Okay, I think that's this true. is a big milestone in the first place. Starting. Yes, and yes, okay, what you said is true. Accountability is a very big thing, and accountability should theoretically work. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we got I think we got this. We are actually re-recording an episode that we thought we could go with and we'll see how this pans out. Hopefully yes. this is the only re-recording. Yes. I mean, okay, we cannot really guarantee that. Who knows what, you know, some issues might happen. Fingers crossed, touch wood, finger, fingers, toes, all possible things you can cross that, you know, we never run into a horrid technical difficulty where an entire recording gets lost to the digital ether. I don't know if I'm jinxing that anything by just even saying this right now. Although I do think that even if, let's say, a recording goes into shit, something can always be put together and we can always get it out there. Yes, true. So, there we go. To the start of a new unfinished business, I guess. Yeah, I Hopefully mean, this finished. is... With us starting this podcast, it is unfinished business because we've started this thing. And how and when will we actually finish this business? I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, to the future, guys. <laughs> so I guess on that note, uh, please subscribe. Um, I don't know. Can you leave us a review on iTunes already at this point? I actually have no clue, but if you can, please do that. Subscribe. We are on, on... Spotify as well. Yes, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts, and by proxy, that also means we're on Overcast. Um, this should probably be also on YouTube, I'm gonna think. So, you know, wherever you would like to listen to the two of us kind of rambling on um, and trying to stay on topic. <laughs> I think, <laughs> or maybe I, I should hope, or I guess, that if we actually have guests, um, we would do better at staying on topic because we actually have someone else to also, like, you know, ask questions to and such I would hope that we actually get used to not interrupting each other <laughs> I've caught myself cutting you off I'm not sure how many times but I know it's a substantial amount of times so I hope as we go through this we, yeah. we'll get better at this with practice hopefully yes I also hope so <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so hey. I guess then goodbye. Thanks for listening, guys. 
Thank you for listening. Subscribe. Love us. Goodbye. Bye.